Hello, welcome to the channel. Like, subscribe and all that jazz. And on today's video, we're gonna be looking at a product that you might have got, uh, certainly from Christmas. So Christmas is over now, we're into the new year, 2024, and you might have got this product as a present from someone after saying over Christmas, oh, I like coffee, I like coffee machines. Yeah, you might have got this. So this is the Salter Coffee Maker To Go. And if you haven't seen these, uh, you might have seen these on Amazon. I got this one from Asda. It was 20 pounds, okay? It is probably the cheapest, one of the cheapest coffee machines you can buy. And you put ground coffee in it and it almost works out like a cafetiere, but it has a unique thing where it's kind of like it has a, a travel cup that you can filter coffee into. Um, I haven't used it yet, so what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna unbox it, open it, and I'm gonna get a coffee brewed in it just to see how it tastes and how it works. Because for 20 pounds, um, I'm not expecting much, but you never know, put some decent coffee through it and we'll see how it goes. So here it is then, as I said, the Salter Coffee Maker to go. Uh, I'll leave links down below where you can go and get this. I'll probably leave links on Amazon, but as I said, I got this from Asda. Uh, it cost me 20 pounds, it's ridiculous. It will be 20, 25 pounds there or about. Okay, so Salter, coffee maker to go, freshly brewed coffee on the move, reusable coffee filter. So there is the um, the travel cup and there's all kind of the water brewer in there. Fresh coffee, perfect strength. Again, I think this is probably gonna depending on the coffee. I've got some decent ground coffee that I'm gonna use on it. Um, I'll also use these pods as well. So you can buy these coffee pods here that you can put in there, that you can use that as well if you want to, or the coffee and then a picture. Okay, so let's get it unboxed. Is the machine straight out there. UK plug. Kind of like your instruction manual. Okay. This very light. As I said, everything in this video, I am I am not going to complain too much about this because it's 20 quid. Okay, you can't complain for that price. So there's your travel mug, and there's the machine. Okay, it really does feel bare bones. Really is. Lift up the flat, cheap plastic kind of, okay. There's your basket, there's your filter basket. Uh, I assume it has to go in like that, because then you can take that out, pour the coffee away, and clean it. And then it's literally, this is just literally a plastic shower. I'm assuming there's some heating elements in there. Uh, there's your on-off switch on the side. And then a uh, uh, button here, it says important notice, if the start button, so this is just a start button which is thermally operated, so I assume you need to start that and stop that with that. Okay, let's go. Then we have this, which is the, the thermal mug. Nice, okay, so a bit of rubber around there to be able to hold it, and then your lid on there. That's actually quite nice and then you open it up like that. That's actually quite a decent travel mug. Uh, it looks to be small enough to be able to fit in your car there. That's actually a pretty decent mug. If anything, you're gonna get a decent travel mug out of this. Well, I'm liking, liking that, nice. Okay, so the instruction manual. Uh, care and maintenance, yeah. Before first use, before first use, uh, give it a bit of a wash and a clean, which I'll do in a second. And then we're gonna go through the steps on how to make a coffee. So let's just crack on. Let's just get this washed and wiped and just give a bit of a clean out before we stick any coffee in it. Right, everything's kind of clean, I guess. That'll do. So one, step one, before connecting to the mains power supply, position the coffee maker on a flat, stable surface on the height that is comfortable for the user. Check that all the accessories are in place. Lift the water reservoir lid and remove the reusable coffee filter from the brewing chamber and add 15 to 20 grams of finely ground or regular ground coffee or one or two coffee pads. So I've got like 15 to 20 grams of coffee. So I'm just gonna measure out 20 grams of coffee. There you go. So there's 20 grams of coffee in there. Next up, we're gonna put this into here and then give it a shake so it's evenly distributed. So we'll just pop that all in there, like that. Give it a little bit of a shake so it's evenly distributed. 
place the reusable coffee pad into the filter, into the basket, and then place it into the brewing chamber. So place it in there, place it into the brewing chamber, like so. Yep, there's only one way for it to go. So place it in there. Pour 430 milliliters of fresh cold water into the water reservoir and close the reservoir lid. There's the reservoir. Handily, if we look in here, it actually has a fill line. So right down the bottom there has 240, then up there it has 300, then it has 420 on there. So what we need to do is we need to fill it up to this line here. Right, so I've got about 500 mils in here. So if I just fill this up, there we go. Okay, can you see that? That's up to that level there, up to that one there. Next up, remove the lid from the travel mug and place the travel mug on the base of the coffee maker, aligning it up with the brewing chamber. In there, like so. Step seven, plug in and switch on the coffee machine maker and the mains power supply, press the on-off switch to the on position, then press the brewing cycle button, the indicator will light illuminated red to signal the coffee maker is in operation. So, plug that in, turn it to on down there, and then off it goes. I can hear it gurgling. Oh, wait, it goes as it's boiling in there, and then it will obviously filter through into there. So give that a couple of minutes while that's brewing. Right, so it sounds like it's finished. Three and a half minutes. And if I just spin it around, you'll be able to see that the light on there that actually goes off after that time. So it's about three and a half minutes there to get that full bit of coffee. Now let's now switch it off. Let's have a look. Open it up. Let's have a look. So let's have a look in the basket. Okay, that's not too bad. There's a bit of a bloom left on there. All of the coffee seems to have gone around the edges. There's no coffee outside of it at all, which is good. So the coffee has kept within the basket. That doesn't seem too bad at all. And then it would be just a case of, look at that, a couple of knocks and most of it's out. That's great. So it goes on there. So cleaning wise, literally, a quick rinse and we're done. That's great. Okay, so that's really good. So being able to clean it and crack on with again with another coffee is really good. So we cleaned it, brilliant. Uh, let's take it out. So 430 mils has filled up to there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna uh, get this how I like it, uh, just a bit of touch of milk here, and then we'll give it a bit of a taste. Okay, so there we go then. I've just completed the 430 mils of coffee through the machine. Um, what you've got to remember is it's a 20 pound machine, but let's try it anyway, because I've, I've put the milk in of how I like it. Yeah, okay, as expected, it's... <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be... Okay, having an espresso coffee this morning out of one of my pod machines over there, uh, it's not gonna be as good as that, as you'd expect, but it's gonna be way better. It is way better than instant stuff. So if you are kind of like living off the instant coffee, and the reason why you're living off the instant coffee is because it's cheap, maybe look at this, because 20 pounds, yeah, that's not half bad. It's definitely hot enough definitely hot enough and if you get some half decent coffee to put in it which isn't too much of an expense you can get yourself a pretty decent coffee out of this so really for me then the positives are uh, the price of it uh, the fact that it is 20 pounds you can put whatever coffee you like in it the fact that it comes in a travel mug that you can take this away with you this doesn't look too bad i mean it's very cheaply made it's very plasticky but I wouldn't mind that sat on my kitchen counter. I don't think it's too unoffensive, really, a machine to look at. Not too bad at all. And to be honest, the coffee isn't too bad out of it. 
just put some decent coffee in it. Okay, so that was it then. That was my look at this, the brilliant Salter Fresh Coffee Perfect Strength Machine. I don't know. And also you can, you can just, if you didn't want that amount, you can have smaller amounts as well and just use one of the levels, isn't it? I think that's a really nice feature to be able to, to put that in. So really, a no frills machine. Uh, let me know what you think on this, the no frills Salter machine. Stick some coffee in, get some decent coffee and take this out with you if you are taking it away on your commute or onto work or something. Let me know. Let me know what you think down in the comments below of this. I think this is a pretty good machine for the price. Okay, as I said before, like, subscribe and all that jazz. Let me know if you've got any questions on the machine. I'll happily try and answer them for you. Okay, till the next video. Bye-bye.